pessimist uh, pessimist error estimate so basically uh, it involves uh, it, it is able to cover up two major loopholes created by validation data set one is that if you have very scanty data you don't wish to divide or a model into a validation training data set uh, rather you would wish to train your whole model uh, your whole data set uh, whole model uh, your model with the whole data set second thing is that it also includes uh, the idea of model complexity in the final error estimate so which was validation data set was missing out so let's understand what does this do so the total the final test error estimate is given by et plus omega t upon nt so let's understand what are these different terms et refers to error over training data set omega t is a penalty constant uh, is a penalty term and upon n is the total number of samples so uh, error estimate uh, like training error is something that we already know total samples we already know now what is omega so omega is calculated depending upon the model using model complexity for example for decision trees this term can be calculated using number of nodes in the tree into penalty constant now penalty constant can be any constant 0 0.5 0 0.7 0 0.8 whatever you wish to keep it similarly for a neural network it can be in total number of nodes in the entire network into penalty constant or total number of hidden layers whatever you wish to do it so eventually omega is a flexible term which uh, which uh, whose uh, definition changes according to the model given but yes uh, as you can see then pessimist error estimate what we are doing is eventually we are uh, taking the training error plus the model complexity uh, in terms of omega divided by n so a few uh, drawbacks to pessimist error is that as again nothing from the unknown samples has been seen it can again go wavered as pessimist error as we don't we don't have a, a separate validation data set uh, determining complexity for few of the models can be very tricky like for example knn k, uh, k, k means what should be uh, your pe uh, penalty constant like in case of neural networks you are using total number of nodes total number of hidden layers in case of decision trees you are using total uh, total number of trees or total depth but in case of knn what should be the k so again these are a few higher questions that can be uh, that may uh, create problems for you depending upon the model